Good afternoon. Um, I'm going to wait just a few minutes to begin the webinar just to allow everyone time to get into the event. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Good afternoon and welcome to today's webinar, Going the Social Distance, How to Engage Readers and Drive Book Sales Through Virtual Book Launches. Today's webinar is being recorded for those who might not have been able to attend and all attendees will receive a PDF after the presentation. So welcome again, my name is Chelsea Richards and I am a senior marketing strategist here at Greenleaf Book Group. I've been working with Greenleaf for over five years now, helping authors find new and creative ways to reach readers and to promote their books with targeted digital marketing campaigns. During the presentation, uh, be sure to tweet us at at GreenleafBookGR and use the hashtag ideas thrive. Please also feel free to submit questions through the Q&A feature in the toolbar uh, that should be at the bottom of your screen. Uh, there will be time allocated for Q&A at the end of the webinar. Um, in this webinar, we're going to be discussing how to host a successful virtual book launch. So we'll be covering the planning stage in which you select the right platform for your event, uh, invite your event to the virtual book launch, and then promote the event via social media. We'll also be covering the details of hosting the actual event, including logistics and key elements to keep attendees engaged. Um, and lastly, follow up to keep the conversation going and keep your book top of mind with attendees by requesting that they share a review of your book. So there are a variety of platforms that you can host your virtual event on. I've listed just a few here, Zoom, Facebook Live, and Instagram Live, along with links to tutorials, which will give you in-depth insight into how to set up a virtual event uh, via each of those platforms. And again, you'll be able to access those with the PDF that I'll be sharing of the presentation after the webinar. Um, so the first of which is Zoom, um, and most of us uh, are likely very, very familiar with Zoom after this year. So this is a great option um, to use for a virtual book launch event, um, as it allows guests to register in advance, much like you did for this webinar. Um, this is great uh, for the author to see how many individuals have signed up for their event in advance. Um, and also gives the author names and contact information, um, which can be used to reach out to those individuals uh, to ask if they would like to opt in to a newsletter. Um, please note that hosting um, an event via Zoom does require a pro account. 
Uh, the next platform I'd like to discuss is Facebook Live. Um, so Facebook Live is going to be real-time video, um, which is great for authentic engagement, and it allows for a, a flowing stream of comments and Q&A during that live event. So this is a great option if you have already built um, a Facebook following um, or if you're looking to build your following on Facebook. Um, and finally, we have Instagram Live, which is also real-time video, um, which is really great for casual conversation um, and again, audience engagement. Um, this is also a good option to consider if you have a highly visual book um, and you're sharing kind of that content already via Instagram. Um, in terms of logistics, we recommend selecting the evening of your publication date or later in the month um, for timing of the event, just as you would with an in-person launch event. Um, and then in terms of hosting the event, you may choose to host the event yourself, um, or you might like to have a friend or colleague MC the event. This could also be someone who has supported the book, um, either by providing a forward or an endorsement for the book, um, as well as someone who might have provided an early review. Um, at this stage, you can also consider partnering with a local indie bookstore. Many indie bookstores are hosting virtual launch events, and this could be a great opportunity to build rapport with your local indie. Um, and last but not least, testing. You'll want to test the event um, and your presentation beforehand to ensure that everything runs smoothly on the night of your event. So now that you've selected your hosting platform and ironed out the details of your event, you need to create the event and invite your network. You can create a Facebook event with all of the launch party details, as well as the registration link if you are hosting via Zoom. And I've shown an example here um, from Greenleaf author Genevieve Paturo, author of Purpose, Passion, and Pajamas. Um, this is a really nice example of a Facebook event um, because you'll note how Genevieve opted for purple and yellow color scheme with stars graphics. Um, that She did that to align with her book cover image. And we recommend um, considering the color scheme and, and utilizing the color scheme and graphics from your book cover when you're creating promotional graphics for your virtual book launch uh, in order to create a cohesive look and feel for the event. Once you've created your Facebook event, it's time to start promoting. Um, so I've got another example here again from author Genevieve Paturo uh, of a graphic that she created for her virtual book launch. Um, so like Genevieve, you'll want to be sure to include a brief description, uh, your Zoom link or registration link to the event, uh, your 3D book cover, um, and any highlights of the events um, in the promotional graphics that you create. You'll then want to share those details of the event across your social media platforms. If you have a website, this is also a great place to feature your event graphics. So you can feature that either um, as a pop-up or through an RSVP form on your homepage, or if you've got a dedicated book page on your website, that's another great area to include your event graphic. Uh, you can also offer individuals the um, opportunity to sign up to receive emails. Um, once they sign up for the actual virtual book launch. Um, if you have a newsletter, this is another um, way that you can connect with your network. So you can send a message out to your subscribers, inviting them to your upcoming book launch. Um, or if you are in the process of beginning to build a newsletter, that opt-in on the RSVP form that I mentioned is a great way to provide readers with updates on your upcoming event, as well as any future virtual events you might be hosting, um, as well as getting them signed up for a regularly scheduled newsletter. So as you are promoting your event, you'll want to be sure to leverage your network. 
Um, so reach out to the people who have already supported you and your book. Um, that can be in the form of endorsements, writing the forward, or sharing early reviews. These individuals have already shown their support for you and your book, and they might be a good fit to host your book launch, especially if they're well-connected or have an audience that you would like to reach out to. And even if you decide that you'd like to host the event yourself, um, still be sure to reach out to those who have supported you uh, leading up to this point to invite them to attend your virtual book launch um, and also to share, ask that they share the event with your net, their networks. Um, that gives you an opportunity to reach out and connect with new audiences and with new potential readers. Um, as I mentioned earlier, please be sure to reach out to your local bookstore to see if they are hosting virtual events. Most indie bookstores want to support local and debut authors and are offering curbside pickup or delivery options to encourage book sales. Um, and even if you aren't able to coordinate a virtual book launch with your local bookstore, still be sure to include indie bookstore links like bookshop.org, IndieBound, and your local bookstore. I've included our local bookstore, Book People, here, as well as the Strand Bookstore um, in New York City, just as examples. Um, this is a great way to support your local community and uh, shop local initiatives. So now I would like to discuss your promotional timeline. Um, I would recommend scheduling your event four to six weeks in advance of your launch date. This gives attendees time to sign up for the event um, and for word of mouth to build, as well as giving you time to build momentum and excitement for your event via your social channels, website, and newsletter, as we've discussed. Um, then after your initial event announcement, I would recommend sharing drip content weekly that piques interest in your book and the upcoming event. So that can highlight event details. Um, if you're going to have other hosts or guests be part of that event, you can highlight those individuals and tag them via social media. You can also consider offering a giveaway of a signed copy of the book prior to the event for an attendee who shares the event with their network. So this is another way to encourage word of mouth and to increase your chances of reaching new readers. You can also create a hashtag. So this can be something like hashtag book title or hashtag author name. And by creating a new hashtag, um, you're enabling yourself to see your followers engagement with your book and with your upcoming event. And then when you're at the one week and one day um, prior to the event mark, I recommend sharing the event details again uh, via email if you're sharing uh, things via your newsletter or just via email to your friends and family. Um, and then as well as via your social media platforms. Um, this serves as a nice reminder for those who have already signed up for your event, um, as well as the opportunity to potentially reach new attendees who have not yet signed up. Um, moving into uh, website registration. So if you have a website, be sure to add registration details to your homepage or to your dedicated book page. Um, that will allow attendees to RSVP to your event. This is a great way to ensure that you're reaching potential attendees across all of your online presence. Um, and I have included an example here of an event graphic from Greenleaf author Andy Simon's um, upcoming book launch for her book, Rethink. Um, so like we've discussed with Genevieve Paturo's branded Facebook event, uh, note the way that Andy has branded her event with the same seafoam green and bright pink color palette from her book cover. Um, this serves to create a cohesive aesthetic across platforms. 
She's included, of course, all of the relevant information, um, date and time of the event, a link to register for the event, uh, and then she's also called out a quote from the event, a quote from the book, excuse me. Um, then I'd like to move into some examples of drip feed content that you can share leading up to your event uh, to um, encourage engagement and get people excited about your upcoming event. Um, so short video content um, that you can create just using your smartphone is really great for social engagement. Uh, the first of which is an unboxing video. So an unboxing video captures the moment that you receive your box of books and see your printed book for the first time. This is a really great opportunity to share the excitement of this milestone with your readers in an authentic way. And it also gives them more insight into um, your journey as a writer and what the accomplishment of actually seeing your published book means to you. Uh, another example of a video that you could create is an author intro video. So this is a brief introduction, 30 to 60 seconds long, about you as the author, your book, what the book is about, why you wrote it, and where the readers can purchase it. This is great content to share on your publication date uh, to get people excited about the launch of your book uh, and also your upcoming virtual book launch if you are hosting that launch on your publication date. And then the last example I've listed are virtual readings. So virtual readings are great teaser content to share with readers leading up to the book launch. Um, as they provide a brief excerpt of your book. Now, I recommend selecting a passage that represents the heart of your book, gets readers interested and engaged, uh, and leaves them wanting to read more. You'll note that there are hyperlinks on this slide. Um, these hyperlinks link to uh, more detailed information, uh, white papers, and advice on what to include in each of these videos. Um, and you'll be able to access those in the PDF of the presentation that will be sent to you after the webinar. Um, so here we have a few screenshots, uh, examples of short videos that were created by Greenleaf authors, Dr. Candace Good and Martha Hunt Handler, um, that they created to promote their upcoming book launches. So for her virtual book launch, Dr. Good decided to give away 20 signed copies of her book uh, and share them around her community through little free libraries. Inside each book was a message about the book and launching during a pandemic. Dr. Good also included gift cards to support local, in, local businesses, um, including an indie bookstore and two local coffee shops. Um, Martha Hunt Handler um, created a really witty unboxing video of her first box of Winter of the Wolf. Um, she had fun with her video and included her two dogs in glasses reading the book. Um, you'll also note that she staged the video well by including a wolf plate in the background um, and a roaring fire to tie in with themes from the book. Um, so another example of drip feed content that you can share leading up to your event are branded social media graphics. So for example, Dr. Asim Desai, author of Restart Your Heart, created a branded countdown to his publication date. You'll note that the graphic ties in with the color palette of his book. It also highlights his uh, Amazon bestseller status and shows a tie-in with a uh, relevant cause, which for him was AFib Awareness Month during the month of September. This is something that you can also include doing um, to support your upcoming book launch. If you have a cause associated with your book, or even if there is a seasonal tie-in that you could uh, promote via a social media graphic. 
I've also included an example from Andy Simon, author of Rethink. She created a branded graphic highlighting her upcoming publication month, um, as well as featuring an endorsement that she received. Um, and again, she's used that seafoam green uh, and hot pink color uh, to align with the book cover image. So the big day of your virtual book launch has arrived. Um, you want to create the atmosphere for the event just as you would for an in-person event. Uh, I recommend keeping the tone conversational and create a sense of celebration because after all, it is a celebration. You'll want to set up in a quiet space with good internet connection display copies of the book, um, and you can also set up posters featuring the book. During the event, um, you want to showcase your content, highlight your expertise, and encourage an engagement. Um, and a great way to encourage engage engagement is through creating a presentation um, with a visually appealing slideshow, uh, as well as potentially offering a giveaway opportunity for attendees. And then last but not least, uh, relax. Don't forget to have fun uh, because this is your book launch event. Um, and then in terms of sales opportunities, uh, there are definitely ways to support and encourage sales opportunities even when you're launching your book virtually. Uh, one opportunity to do that is through direct sales. Uh, so you can offer attendees a special offer, um, either a percentage off um, of their copy, you could offer them a signed copy, or you could offer them free shipping. Just think of ways that you can in incentivize those attendees uh, to purchase a copy of their book um, by giving them that special offer for joining you for your virtual book launch. Um, as I've mentioned previously, partnerships with local bookstores are a great opportunity to encourage sales. Um, and the local bookstore will coordinate any and all sales associated with your book launch event through either cur curbside pickup or delivery options. Um, another creative way to create sales opportunities is through virtual book clubs. Um, so you can do a call out either on your social media or on your website about opportunities for book clubs to have uh, a Zoom event with you as the author. Um, and the exchange is that the book club provides proof that they've bought a certain number of books, um, which you can decide at your discretion. Um, and then you as the author will schedule a Zoom meeting for 30 minutes or an hour to have a Q&A uh, book club event, virtual book club event. Um, and this provides a really great opportunity to sell more books and also to engage with readers and create a rapport um, through another virtual event. Um, and now moving into um, kind of the specifics of what a virtual book launch agenda can look like. Um, so if you have a host, um, the host will of course begin the event, um, or if you're hosting the event yourself, you as the author um, will begin the event and share a welcome message with attendees. Um, I recommend including your presentation title slide at the beginning of that event. Um, and letting attendees know that they're able to leave questions for the author either in the Q&A section um, or in the comments section if you're hosting your event via Facebook Live. Um, this is a great opportunity to announce your prize drawing and I definitely recommend um, having a prize for attendees um, to, to sign up for um, or to to, opportunity to win. Um, so that could be a signed book, that could be a bookmark or some other branded item. Um, and this really is great to encourage attendee engagement. So it could be that um, anyone who sends in a question during the event is entered for this giveaway. Um, and that's a way to, again, encourage an attendee engagement um, and get them excited about that prize giveaway at the end of your event. 
Um, then as the author, you will um, greet your attendees with a short message um, about what the day means to you and a brief description of the book. Um, and this is also then where you will read a short excerpt of the book as well. Um, and then if you have a host for your event or you as the host, um, you'll then move into a Q&A section. Um, so during this section of your event, you will um, cover any pre-drafted questions that you've come up with um, or any attendee questions that have been asked during the event. Um, and then this is the really fun portion of the event, of course, it's the prize drawing for the signed book, the bookmark, or other branded item that you're giving away to attendees. You as the author will then conclude the event. Um, you'll send, uh, you'll share your final thanks um, and goodbyes. And then you'll want to display a slide with the retailer logos um, so that attendees know where the book is available for purchase. Um, of course, be sure to include your indie bookstores um, logos there as well. Um, and then re request that attendees purchase a copy of the book uh, and share their honest review. I also recommend sending an email to attendees after the event, um, just again, thanking them for taking the time to attend your launch event, um, and then requesting that they purchase a copy and share an honest review. Uh, that just keeps the conversation going um, and encourages them to, of course, buy the book um, and continue to spread word of mouth about your book. So thank you very much for attending our webinar on virtual book launches. Um, we will now move into our Q&A section uh, and answer any questions you may have about hosting your own virtual book launch. Looks like we've got a couple of questions coming in. Uh, the first question is, what should be included on the title slide of the presentation? It's a great question. Um, I would recommend including the book cover image, um, the author, your author name, publication date, uh, the retailer logos, as well as um, language that says available everywhere books are sold. The next question is, when should you answer attendee questions during the virtual book launch? Um, so there are a number of ways that you can do this. Um, you as the author can either answer questions throughout the event um, to break things up and to create a sense of active conversation with attendees, or you can have a dedicated Q&A section at the event, end of the event as we're doing with this webinar. Any other questions from attendees? Don't be shy, that's what I'm here for. Okay, well, um, if there aren't any questions, I'd like to thank you very much uh, for attending the event this afternoon. Um, as I've mentioned at the start of the event, this will be shared um, with all attendees in PDF format. Um, and we also are recording this event um, as well. So thank you very much for taking the time. Uh, and I hope you have a great rest of your afternoon. And I wish you the best of luck uh, with your upcoming virtual book launches.